Hello, hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Brooke. This is Florida Treasure Jewels and today we have a special little video that we're going to do. So our good friend here that is on the channel, Mostly Sunny Sales, she uh, sent me a box full of jewelry. Said that she was cleaning out, going through some things and sent me some items i will link she does have an ebay store i will link her ebay store down in the description if anyone would like to check out her stuff she does sell jewelry as well so we're gonna go ahead and dive in to this box full of goodies i've taken all of the packages out they're still taped and i cannot wait to dive in and see what she has sent over. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of move these out of the way. I got some over here that are off to the side. So we're gonna open this one first since it looks like it would be easy to open. I'm gonna save all of this packaging and things that she sent. I've already used all the bubble wrap that she sent, so thank you. Mostly Sunny Sales for all of the packaging. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what we have here. So it looks like we have a ring. By the way, um, if anything, most of the items will probably be for sale. If I see something that I'm going to keep, I won't put a price down here. But <clears throat> I do have a registration form that is down in the description. If you are interested in anything that you see today, you can go ahead and fill out that registration form and send an email to this email right here and we can get some items on the way to you. So here is a cute little tritone butterfly ring. It is a stretch band, so that's nice. Kind of like make little piles of things everywhere. It's a really pretty pendant. Let's see. Got a cute little pendant right here. It's definitely shell or mother of pearl. It's a nice one. Looks like we got some earrings here. I believe the earring backs say Avon. These are acrylic. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this butterfly. A really pretty butterfly pin right here. The glass top on it. I really like that one. With all the butterflies. Here is a glass heart pendant. Love that uh, art glass. We have been finding quite a bit of it lately. And it's always nice to see. You've got a ring right here with a, I think that's acrylic top. Keep everything kind of separated. So let's see, here we go. Got a pair of earrings here. Looks like we have both of them, that's nice. This is definitely some sort of either glass or stone, possibly agate maybe. It's a nice little pair of earrings there. These are really pretty too, clip-ons. Like, what is that shell? Little mother of pearl center right there. Those are really pretty. Love that. Oh, they're marked Japan too. That's interesting. I haven't seen any uh, Japan ones like that, so that's pretty nice. We have some more shell earrings right here. 
Oh, look at these butterfly earrings. Let's see. Little chandelier style butterflies. She knows the group well. She does know that there's lots of butterfly lovers. So we have these earrings right here. That piece hopefully is in the bag. We've got a lot of earrings here. And elephants with their trunks up for good luck. Oh, look at these. So these are acrylic, but I think it's interesting how the post is in this piece right here so that will actually sit close to your ear. Love that. Looks like we got little ghosty. We got a little ghosty here. Here's that piece. So I'll just glue and glue that back on. And that should be good to go. See if we can find the little ghosty friend. Or is it a nope? Here he is. It's got the little ghosty earrings. Got some pretty glass bead earrings. Little gators. We'll have to put um if you don't watch my live shows, we have our little mascot, and his name is Gator, but he is an owl. Thought it would be fun to give him a weird name. There's a story behind it. If you know, you know. It was a, it was a good live, and it was very funny and entertaining to hear all of the stories. So those are cute. Got these cute little glass cube earrings here. These, these feel like glass or stone. I think it's a little bit too uniform to be stone, so maybe it's um, some sort of glass bead. Got our shells, maybe adventuring. You yeah, have these really pretty pearls. Those are really pretty. Like those. We got some spideys. I feel like we could put a rhinestone right there. Those are cute. Where did I put the go? Okay. Here are some gold tone drop earrings and with acrylic. These might be coral, I'm not sure. Or they just may be glass made to look like uh, coral, but it's definitely cold to the touch. And you know we love our Millefiore glass. So these are very pretty. Love all the colors on those. And let's see, last one for this bag. Is right here. These really pretty dangle earrings. She must have heard me talk about in one of my lives how I haven't had any luck lately uh, when going out to these estate sales and things. I haven't found I haven't had any luck finding earrings. Um, it's just so it's so hard to come by now. I have no idea why that would be, but they just hard to come by. So. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mostly Sunny Sales. Check out this. This is probably a trinket. A little trinket.
think it thing. Let's see, yes. All right, so it is by Avon. And I'm not sure if it was maybe, it kind of looks like, you know, a watch, a watch face would be in there, but and you know what? It kind of smells uh, like perfume. So maybe it was a little uh, perfume solid pan that was in there. I'm not sure, but this is really pretty. Interesting little piano like that. And then we got one more that's in one of these. Sorry for the loud noises. Let's go ahead and get that out. Oh, this looks interesting. What's this? So it look, looks like a necklace. And you have all of these natural stone this looks like is that tiger's eye kind of looks like tiger's eye then you have the little um agate slices or glass maybe pink quartz another tiger's eye <clears throat> this is very interesting there's even tiger's eye up here so you could probably uh adjust that but it's, uh, it's interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. So I have to uh, look that one up because that's definitely a neat little piece there. It's not little. It's actually a good size. Okay, I might need my box cutters for this one. a brooch, a little violin brooch. This is neat. It even has little strings on it. Do you have a maker on it? I don't see a maker. Love that. It's quite unique and different. Here is a stick pin. This is by Monet. stick pin by Monet here. And a little painted flower pin. No markings on that one. And then we have a little brooch that has some little sunglasses with rhinestones. Like that. Okay, so there's no, I'm not sure if she wants me to show the note, but <clears throat> it says open this slowly, carefully. There's a surprise inside. So it looks like a little kind of charm box, maybe. Oh, it's a little rhinestone. So it's a little rhinestone uh, that was inside the box here. And I believe um, it's so I can fix it because I do I do glue on rhinestones, or uh, glue them back on, try to fix pieces if I can. So, clever idea to put it inside the box. I love that. So, I'll go ahead and put that back and get that fixed. Here we got a pretty peacock. Little pin. 
And here is a pretty butterfly. It's a nice bold colors on that one. This one feels heavy. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we've got a nice piece of stone on there. It is cold to the touch. I'm not sure uh, what that one is. But there's no markings on it. Very nice. Now look at this one. So this is interesting. You got a glass cabochon wire wrapped in the bracelet. So this is a neat uh, find right here. We got another butterfly. And this matches that necklace. I have to put these two together. So yeah, this matches. So you got a pink agate slice in a bracelet, cuff style bracelet. Keep those together. Now oh, I love my Mexico alpaca. Oh my god. So it's black and white. Super pretty. Love this one. It is one of those uh, hinge style bracelets. Very pretty. And we got another. I love these too. So it was a Philippine handmade. You have all that pretty mother of pearl. It's got a blue tone to it. It is a, I think it's supposed to be a cuff style bracelet. It is uh, quite small. But yeah, I like that one. <clears throat> now we do have a little agate slice pendant in here. That's pretty. Here is a Monet bangle in a textured gold tone. Here's a, a just, I think I just sold something, one that looked like this, didn't have flowers on it. Be a nice little painted floral scene here. Have a chip bracelet, stretchy. Little owl pendant. No markings on this one. And another alpaca bracelet. Well, I haven't seen um, this brown swirl before. That's different. I like that. I like that. Okay, we got this necklace right here. I believe these to be acrylic and this says West Germany on it W Germany black and white simple little choker necklace this is heavy this is a stone ring and it is heavy 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 Got some nice uh, facets on there to catch the light with. Sorry about my voice going in and out. I'm not sure why every time I sit down to do a video, my voice just decides that it don't want to work. Oh, this one's by Kate Spade. That's nice. Love that. It says Kate Spade, New York. There's the little logo.
let's see, can I do it? There we go, okay. That's cute. It's in good shape too. And here is a paper bead necklace with seed beads. Nice fall colors. This one's pretty. This one's Avon. I was going to say, it kind of gives me Avon when I look at it. Very pretty purple acrylic piece right there. And let's see, we got this one. So we do have uh, some glass. Yeah, I think everything is glass, actually. Maybe some acrylic. This is by Chico's. I've been finding a lot of nice Chico necklaces and they're chunky like this one. Very, uh, very nice, interesting pieces. Lots of glass. Love that. Okay, I went ahead and just ripped it off camera so that way it didn't make too much noise. <clears throat> All that bubble wrap will be put to good use in packages. Oh, look at this pretty. So this is glass. You do have blue. Looks like it's carved. Very pretty necklace. I love our glass. Have a little locket here. See if anyone's home. Oh, we do. Check out this gentleman. Looks like we got a child in there as well. Like that. We have some more glass pieces here. This is a necklace, it looks like it's over. Nope, here's the closure right there. So you kind of have some oil slick beads. There's some glass. Long necklace. Here is another seed bead. We do have some glass in here. These have um, kind of like a copper glitter swirl to it. I think it's just over the head. I don't see a clasp on it. Yep. So this one is just a long necklace. You got seed beads, some glass pieces. Very pretty. This one is Coldwater Creek. I could tell by that little uh, leaf maker mark that it's cold water creek. Look at how pretty this is. Kind of has that abalone look to it. You do have some shell. There's some glass on here, some acrylic, some pretty beads. Could definitely repurpose this one or wear it as is. And what is this? Lucky Brand. So maybe all of these bracelets are Lucky Brand. This kind of looks like coral. Or some sort of natural material. You do have some glass here. That's a nice little bracelet set. think now is this acrylic I was gonna say for a second I thought maybe it was paper beads but I don't think it's paper it kind of looks like acrylic that just was rolled several times it's interesting I haven't seen anything like that before and we got some shell stretch bracelet this one's heavy ceramic maybe Really pretty red color. Not a lot of stretch on this one. And let's see, what do we got here? Oh. Uh oh, let's see. All right, we 
have a magnifying glass. You know, we love our magnifying glasses as well. So it's nice to see one. So this, what does it say? St. Jude's Children Research Hospital, Chico's 2010. So let's see, okay, we've got different pieces here. So this is Chico's. And I'm going to assume that they partnered with St. Jude's in 2010 and released some necklaces. So I like that. That's a pretty one. We have a coach keychain here. Established 1941, really pretty peach color. That'll be perfect for spring. And this is a finder's key purse. So I'm not sure. You put your keys on here and then you can hang your purse maybe from this. I'm not sure how that, I'll have to look that up because I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. That's interesting. It says hand painted. Uh, Saxony shockproof. It's really pretty. The painting is really pretty on it. Not familiar with the company, but I like the colors. And then let's see, what do we have here? This looks like a set. So we have clip-on earrings and a necklace. Love it when sets come together, it's great. to keep them all together. Here's another glass necklace. Got really pretty glass. All these beads right here are glass. Yeah, we got this little arrow necklace. A triangle, would you call that a triangle? Another stretch bracelet. We got some Millefiore glass on here. Got a little fish. Got a cross. All the things, kind of like a bead soup. This one, I believe, is Lucky Brand as well. So, a nice chunky blue, um, more than likely dyed halite. Does say Lucky Brand on the inside does have some wear to it. Let's see. And I love my copper. So this is a Renore copper bracelet. Look how pretty this one is. It's got nice weight to it. Kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know why, but paper clips or infinity symbols. But yeah, so love this one copper jewelry has grown on me significantly look at this this is fancy so i believe this to be kind of like a round the neck necklace with this that hangs down in the front all seed beads and bugle beads that is some really pretty, you got a nice chevron pattern there. Look at this one. Nice wire wrapped. These are probably uh, glass beads. And they all have a pearlescent finish coating on them. We have another glass necklace here. Love all the pinks in this one and silvers. It is very sparkly. The 
think this might, I'm not sure what this is for. Who's this by? I'm not sure what that says, but it could be like a sweater clip maybe, or something for your purse, a little keychain. And then this one is intriguing. You got this big chunk down here. It kind of has a, an Asian flair. It has dragons on it. So you do have some glass. We have some shell. It does have a toggle clasp. That's a very, very nice necklace. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the last bag here. Let's see. Kind of get a little space. Let me see if I can get into this one easily. Okay, I just went ahead and did that off camera. So that way it's not too loud. We got a nice little souvenir necklace here. Pretty little hibiscus. Maybe hibiscus flower, some seed beads. Oh, let's see. Got a, I believe that is a lotus flower. This is on stretch material, stretch band. You do have some halite, it looks like. And then I'm not sure what this stone is right here. It's an over-the-head necklace. This kind of... No, this might be lapis. It ha does have the gold flecks in it. It's a little lapis stretch bracelet. That's nice. And some more butterflies here. And some possibly amethyst chips. Love that. And what do we have? Another Chico's necklace. You have a matte gold tone with all these little charms. So you do have some ceramic and there's some acrylic on here. You have a little bumblebee. There's a ladybug. You have a star. Nice long necklace. This one is shell and acrylic. It's a pretty stretch bracelet with some glass. Looks like we have another, yep, another Chico's. I'm, I think I have, I want to say I have this one or I have one that is similar to it. If it's not the exact one, it is extremely similar to it. it. Looks like we do have some Baroque pearls on here. We have some glass. There's some acrylic. It's a double strand necklace. It is by Chico's. Looks like it's in really good condition. Looks brand new. That's nice. Here we have some glass beads on a charm bracelet. It says good luck. Let's see, it does have some Asian writing. That's pretty. Can't find the earrings to those. Oh, look at this one. So you have crackle glass beads. That's pretty. With the little evil eye bracelet. All different colors. And we have an eyeglass holder. Seed bead. Little necklace thing. Let's 
glass bead necklace. Let's see. I think there's an earring in here. Yep. Let's see if we can get the earring out. So here's the match to this one. So it's gold tone and these might be uh, some sort of stone or glass. And we got this necklace right here with a glass horn, I believe. Another bracelet with faux turquoise. This one's pretty. So you do have glass beads with the little flowers. So many bracelets lately. You've been finding a lot of nice bracelets. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? So I'm not sure if this, maybe this was supposed to be the bracelet, the matching bracelet to this necklace. These are all glass. This one is broken, so the necklace is right there. I'll include the bracelet with it, so that way if somebody wants to put a clasp on it and fix it, they can. Another necklace here. This one has ceramic beads with wood. And some suede. Love our cloisonne as well. So we got this really nice cloisonne flower necklace. Another stretch bracelet. Alright, here's the pair of earrings. I believe these to be glass. It looks like some faux tortoise shell right there. Those are pretty. Another stretch glass bracelet, I believe it mat yeah, matches matches that one. Okay, this one is stainless steel. What does that say? Simona Colin? Collini, Italy? I'll have to look up that name. I've never heard of that name before, but it looks like we do have some lapis inside some of these little stations. Looks like that one needs to be hooked back up. That's interesting. I'll have to look that up. I like that. Looks like we have a long strand of glass pearls. Nice white luster to those. Here's a stretch bracelet. You do have some of the lava beads, it looks like, on here. Some really pretty clear glass. A cute little dolphin necklace here with a piece of dyed halite. I got this probably like a souvenir necklace. Got some more bead soup necklace. This one is this one has a long tassel. So these are all glass or wood. It's got some nice weight to it, multiple strands, and beautiful fall colors here. Really pretty neutrals. I 
Okay, let's see, we are down to the last two. So here is this one. Looks like it's a long, yep, it's a long strand with these facet cut rondelles, black, white, and, or I'm sorry, black, silver, and red. And this is the last one, which is on a wire. And you have these really pretty pops of green and blue, shell and glass. Very nice. So that is that for this video. Thank you again to Mostly Sunny Sales. This is some beautiful pieces that you have sent me. I am super, super blessed. Thank you if you have made it this far in the video. Go ahead and say hi to Mostly Sunny Sales down in the comment section. You will see uh, her in the lives, commenting, saying hello. She uh, has been with me for quite some time. So thank you again for sending this. I really appreciate it and I am super blessed to have you as a friend and I appreciate you so much. So everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.